Well, good Wednesday evening, Arkansas. This is Assistant Chief Forecast Camera back here once again and to give you guys kind of a YouTube video going over the potential scene, significant severe weather as we get towards the day on Friday. Um, I know earlier I did say the potential, you know, going live and everything, but throughout the afternoon I kind of realized, you know, it'd be kind of pointless to go live with limited information. So we're going to save that for tomorrow when we have, you know, the tornado risk, the damaging wind risk, the hail threat, all that good stuff, along with specific timing here. But I wanted to give you guys some sort of video to kind of watch tonight. Night. That way you can kind of have a game plan ready to go for Friday and also Tuesday next week because not only do we have Friday to watch, but we have a potential multi-day severe threat coming up as we get towards next week as well. So this is the time to, this is the time now to sit down with your family, go over your severe weather plans, and make sure you know where you are, folks. You gotta know where your counties are and your surrounding counties as well. But before I get into all that good information, I want to kind of talk to you guys about this graphic that you see on your screen right now. And this is the storm planning timeline. And basically what this is, it is a timeline basically of how we forecast severe weather and what you should be doing whenever severe weather is threatening your area here. So like Tuesday, for example, we know about it in a few days out. You know, a lot of people are like, you know, why are you talking about this a week out? You know, wait until, you know, the day of or the day before to talk about severe weather. And I'm going to tell you straightforward, that is the most unsafe way to talk about severe weather because that right there will allow a lot of people to not have some sort of plan in motion or know what's going on until the last second and then everybody's in a frantic mode because you don't know what's going on and you've got severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings so we talked about it a few days out you know the first column we're at right now is a few days out so what should you be doing while you're waiting for the severe weather threat to materialize on the day of know your area you gotta know where your county are your counties are and you gotta know where your specific county is that's the biggest thing we run into whenever we talk about severe weather also have an emergency plan you know find a helmet you know get something in motion going that way if a you know a tornado does strike your area or significant damaging winds you know what to do and you already have those supplies ready and also know your safe places as well especially during tornado warnings or severe thunderstorm warnings which also could be significant you know just keep that in mind and also communicate with your family you know severe weather strikes and you know you've got people at work or you have someone in school etc have some sort of communication plan in motion you know severe weather day you're going out the door first thing in the morning say, hey, you know, if there's a tornado warning, make sure you text me or you text her or you something like that. Have a communication plan ready. That way you're not in a frantic mode when severe weather strikes. Now, tomorrow, we move the goalpost over to the second column, which will be the day before. You'll be adjusting those plans, making sure your phone can get those alerts, and also making sure your shelter and stuff is cleaned out. And then, obviously, the day of will come on Friday here. So, talking about Friday, here's your Friday risk at this current point. Here's the biggest thing. The entire state of Arkansas is under some sort of enhanced or slight risk area for the potential seeing severe weather. And if you're in the enhanced area, you are hatched for the potential of seeing significant damaging winds and tornadoes. Some of those tornadoes could be strong as well. And I've had a lot of people ask me, is this going to go moderate? Is it going to go, you know, higher than this? Here's the thing. It is on table that this does go moderate risk. However, don't wait for it to go moderate or anything like that to take it seriously, folks. That's the biggest thing. Enhanced risk is there for a reason. We've seen what's can, what can happen in a slight risk or an enhanced risk or even in a marginal risk. Make sure you are paying attention to those risk areas and not just the highest one on the board. Because of the fact that if you're not in the highest risk and you say, oh, it's a moderate risk or nothing, I'm not going to see anything, then what will end up happening is your area will experience severe weather, you're outside of the moderate, moderate, um, moderate risk, and that's where you can see the potential you know, of damage and stuff like that, and you won't have a game plan because you know you thought nothing was going to happen. So keep that in mind. Make sure that you're paying attention if you're in a marginal or in a slight risk area or in the enhanced risk area as we get towards Friday. And a lot of people have been asking about timing, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m., Friday afternoon and a Friday evening going into Friday night. That is going to be your timing map coming up, I'd say, first thing tomorrow morning. That's going to be your first look timing across the area here. So just kind of keep that in mind across the area here. Okay, so 
Let's talk about this as well. And this is also Tuesday's risk. You had the potential to see additional severe weather across the area, already highlighted in the 15% area for all of Arkansas, fully expecting this to go 30% between tonight or Friday morning here across the area here. So let's go ahead and dive straight into Cupido on the guidance here, and this is the high-res NAM. And we're going to take a look at this, and the high-res NAM has gotten a lot of attention on social media on Friday because of the fact that it does have supercells capable of producing tornadoes, especially here in Arkansas. So let's take this out, and by the way, if you're wondering timing, look above my head, um, and you can see by the time we get towards Thursday evening, it's about 7 p.m. tomorrow, a few showers trying to get going across eastern Arkansas, not eastern Arkansas, eastern Oklahoma, and western Arkansas, northwestern Arkansas, that quickly moves away. And then by the time you get towards Friday morning, you know, there's some cloud cover, a few few showers here and there. And a lot of people are going to be asking, you know, is a severe threat over? Are we not going to see severe weather? There's a lot of cloud cover. There's a lot of heavy rainfall. Biggest thing I want to stress to you guys right now, if you see this Friday morning, don't pay attention to it. Because we're already deep into the warm center. That's the biggest thing I want to stress to you guys right now. These are, these are instability showers that you're going to see first thing Friday morning and then what's gonna happen by the time we get towards this is 5 p.m. by the way okay and you can see let's go ahead and draw this out right through here is where you're gonna have to watch this boundary we're right in here that's gonna come into Western Arkansas supercells developing from East Texas all the way into Central Arkansas and Eastern Arkansas this is where you're gonna have to watch for that supercell development and potential significant severe weather. If this were to verify, I could see majority of the area potentially being in the moderate risk. So we'll keep on that, we'll keep a very close eye on that by the time we get towards your uh, tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon time frame here. And you can see by the time we get towards 6 p.m., there's your risk. I mean, boy, you've got a significant amount of, um, of thunderstorm development right through here. I'm going to draw this out. There's your area right in here. That's the area of concern. That's going to go from Little Rock. That's Camden over towards Highway 167. That's Jonesboro. A few of these storms could be tornadic. Just something that we're going to continue to monitor. And then your line back out here. This is going to continue to move out towards the east as well. So just kind of keep that in mind. Something that we're going to have to watch closely as we get towards your um, your Friday afternoon, Friday evening time frame. And then this is 7 p.m. and you're watching Eastern Arkansas, you're watching the Jonesboro area, you're watching I-40, you're watching the Memphis area over there down towards Arkansas County, down into southeastern Arkansas. And then your boundary, you got a few supercells that may pop up along the boundary as well from Mount Home to Little Rock all the way down to the Hope, Arkadelphia area along I-30. So it's going to be very important that you guys have that severe weather plan in motion as we get towards today on Friday. Don't wait for warnings to start popping up on the board to start asking those questions. We've answered a million questions over the last couple of days. We love you guys for asking those questions, but don't wait because I know there's someone out there that's waiting and waiting until Friday until those warnings start to start asking the questions about specific counties and specific cities. Don't do it. Make sure you have that game plan ready to go, folks. Biggest thing I want to stress to you guys right now. So this is about 7 p.m. And you can see by 8 o'clock, got a lot of storms moving in the eastern, northeastern Arkansas. Some of these storms could be tornadic. Some of these storms could be producing severe weather upwards to 60 to 70 mile per hour winds and the potential of large hail. So watch this closely. That's the Jonesboro area, the Batesville area, that's Searcy, that's Stuttgart, that's the Memphis area up there in northeastern Arkansas. So then we're going to continue to monitor. And then by the time we get towards your 10 o'clock time frame, this will move east of Arkansas at this current point, And we will be wrapping up your severe weather coverage by the time we get towards Friday night if you were to go with the high res dam here. Now, I want to talk about this. And this is something that you've probably seen a lot on social media as well. Let's talk about your significant tornado parameters here and the biggest thing with your significant tornado parameters this goes off of zero to six kilometer shear which means we have a lot of shear in place along with the instability here so you can see your environment really starts to come in by the time we get towards your noon time frame on friday and it really takes off by the time we get to four o'clock and you saw those supercells across the area here so something that we're going to monitor very closely obviously if we have tornado warnings on the board this early in the afternoon 
I will be here. We will be here giving you guys the latest information on Friday here. And then you can see by the time we get towards that 7 p.m. time frame, and this is going to be very crucial, especially for my folks up here in northeastern Arkansas, because your low-level jet is going to start to increase within time. So this is going to be the area of concern as we get towards Friday evening, Friday night, and I would bank that there will be some sort of possible upgrade of moderate risk by the time we get towards either tonight at midnight lunch tomorrow or first first thing in the morning on friday here something that we're going to have to watch very very closely across the area and that's going to be for the jones area and that's batesville that's up here towards the pocahontas area down in little rock along i-40 and stuff like that something that we're going to monitor very very closely here and as mentioned before we're going to keep you guys updated on that as well so this is about 7 p.m and you can really see along the mississippi river from jonesboro to Piggott, all the way, excuse me, all the way down to Memphis, all the way down to the Lake Village. Something that we're going to monitor very closely, eastern and northeastern Arkansas. We're going to have to watch those areas very closely as we get towards your Friday evening and to your Friday night time frame. And then it pushes east of the state by the time we get towards your 9 to 10 o'clock time frame here. So, the biggest thing I want to stress to you guys right now is making sure you have that severe weather plan ready to go. Timing right now is going to be from 2 p.m. to Friday afternoon all the way to 10 p.m. Friday evening here. It's going to go from western Arkansas to eastern Arkansas. So over here, this is going to be, I'd say, the Fayetteville area. That's Fort Smith, over towards Mena, over towards Texarkana. I would put you guys at about, you know, 12 to 2 over here, okay? Let's, put, let's see if I can get you over here. 12 to 2 over here, okay? So it's going to be 12 to 2 over here in western Arkansas, central I would say probably about that 3 o'clock time frame to 6 p.m. And that's going to go for these folks over here. That's the Russellville area. Let's see if I can draw this out. That's Russellville. That's Little Rock over to Camden, El Dorado, up towards Mount Home. I'm going to put you guys about, I'd say, let's say 2 p.m. Instead of 3, let's say 2 p.m. to about 6 o'clock. And then in eastern Arkansas over here on this side, on eastern Arkansas, we're talking 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Friday afternoon, Friday evening. And it's a Friday night. Remember, tornadoes, potentially some of them could be strong. Uh, also, the potential of significant damaging winds and also the potential of hail. Some of it could be potentially very large hail, but we'll see if the, um, the shear profiles kind of cancel out some of the hail size uh, with some of these storms. If it's something that we're going to continue to monitor over here in eastern Arkansas and northeastern Arkansas here, guys. So, as I mentioned before, this is all I got for you guys this evening. Stay with us. Tomorrow, I promise I will be live giving you guys the breakdown information and everything like that. Tomorrow will be a much better day to go live. That way I can give you guys that information. Tonight was just kind of something simple that we're looking at. We don't have all the information in place as of right now, given that we're still three days out. But we're going to continue to keep you guys updated right here your source for all things Arkansas weather.